Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. Today we're looking at the Azov 64131 Max, which is part of the Max pack I've been testing for console mods. Now there's quite a few trucks coming into this pack. We've got um, X, and this pack is made by XD00DX001, and he said to me earlier he's got 27 so far. So we still got quite a few of them to go through. So I thought you, I thought I'd show you the Azov. 64131 one today and we're going to recover I think we're going to recover the trans star today we're going to take the trailer down and chuck that on the back and see how it goes now this one's got the LED lighting on the front again which is really awesome let's change the time and you see how bright they are let's do it in complete darkness and you see them they are awesome proper set of lights really are so let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available. Now I've been looking through another ones as well. We've got the freight line in there and we've also got the International Paystar Max as well. So let's have a look at this one first anyhow. So engine wise, these are the engine options available to us. And you can see we have quite a few tweaked ones and then we have the standard ones there which uh, I think they've been tweaked as well because I'm sure they had less power than that but I could be wrong. But I haven't got those because I haven't unlocked them yet. So we are using the the big one, the military truck old heavy. And then we go on to gearboxes. Now we've got two different gearboxes. We've got the eight gears and the six gears on this one because this has got the advanced special. So and we haven't got that at the moment. So we're gonna go for the six gear option. Then we move on to suspension. We've got a stiff and a soft. So I'm gonna go with the I don't know why he's done the stiff. I'll have to ask him about that because uh, when they were stiff, they tended to just bounce around everywhere. So we're going to go with the soft active on that. And it's quite high anyway without the active, but it just gives you that extra lift. So tyre choices. And we do have quite a few different tyre choices. Now, some of these tyres need to be tweaked as well because they're not fitting exactly as they should. But you can see we have quite a few options. We've got Tagers. And we've also got the chains with the studs as well, which uh, I like those wheels and tires. They're pretty cool. I like the look of them. So moving on, then we have winches. Now this max pack has got this from standard. We got a 25% normal, 50% uh, and 100% longer. Now these are autonomous winches. So it gives you the function to have autonomous on all trucks. Now I go with a 50 because 50% seems to be plenty anyway, and then you don't have thousands of winch points. Then we have the Max Toolbox, where if you want that, you can have it. If you don't, you don't have it. And that's got 2,000 fuel, spare wheels, and 64,000 repair points. So you're not going to run out on that one. Then moving on to Snorkel, and I don't think that, no, they haven't changed. Frame add-ons, we have the Max Cranes. So these cranes you can lift up a lot more, they're a lot more powerful or powerfuler than normal standard cranes. And then we've got the other cranes as well where th that's a Max Crane as well. You can see it's Big Crane, are you Max? And then we've got also the red one as well. And all the different frame add-ons. Are available obviously we've got the crane on there so it's taking up a little bit of the the on the bed there but we need saddle high so that is your options for it now a lot of this stuff hasn't changed apart from the led lights where we've got the led light configurations for it and i think everything else yeah we've got leds on the bumper as well there if you want those and then on the miscellaneous i don't think that changed no it didn't same with the exhaust and then there is some extra set of rims in there, which uh, we go with a caterpillar rim, shall we? We'll have those today. And then all your colour choices are your same as, as your normal. Just like that. Let's go for the red. And then your bobbleheads, not forgetting your bobbleheads, most important thing in the game. And then we have all that crap in there, I, all that really useful stuff which everyone uses every single time they get in the truck well maybe two or three people do but that's that anyway let's get it out and let's change the time 
because that's a little bit too dark now we have got quite a bit of power because we have the old heavy and you see when, when we're creeping along like this it does that's flat out and you're like, oh well that's all right we can handle that but it's when you engage your all-wheel drive on it that's when you start having a lot more power and i think we go down and pick up the Transtar. I need to reverse that. Oh, reverse that up a little bit. Is that gonna? Oh, come on! Don't give me this crap. Let it's too bloody high to hook on. Hang on. Just get it right. There we go. <laughs> and it slid off. That should attach anyway. Yes, it attaches. So jobs are good and. So onward. Now I haven't tried this pulling trailers or anything, so hopefully it will be good. Now the all-wheel drive option, you see we've got the rear wheels there and then eight-wheel drive as well. Which I like that as an option. So we're gonna head off down the main road, go down over over the bridge. I think that's probably the probably is the easiest way to go. Yeah, I should have probably taken that a little bit wider, but we didn't catch anything on it. So driven like a pro. And hopefully we shouldn't have any issues with this one. Now this one I haven't taken it out at all. So I don't know if it's gonna perform, how it's gonna perform, but it should be okay. And it's just nice to be driving the as of six four one. 3 one with a bit of power because this is an old trusty chug along where it just chugs along does what it wants and it'll always get you through wherever you want it to go but uh, it always was lacking a little bit of power and now we have some power finally so let's get that back on the road and then we can head down now I'm not sure what the gearbox if we go into high does whether we get rapid acceleration but i'll just get lined up first because it's already a bit squirrely and yeah it does slow you down with that gearbox so it just drops because i bet we're doing a hell of a yeah look at that fuel burn i was seeing it up to the the 20s then so yeah we do have quite a lot of fuel burn on it we well I'll put it down to, to high when we get down to that bend that'll probably help us slow down a little bit yeah and it does but you can see the fuel burn just goes right down and I probably should have gone a little bit wider on that but we can bounce that through that's not an issue but it is it looks so much different than it just a set of tires a little bit of a lift on it and it makes a hell of a difference it really does so let's get the power we need the power on because this time, every time we come down here, I didn't have the bridge open. But today, the bridge is open. We did that a few days back. So as long as I can stay on the bridge to get over it, we should be good to go. Yes. Well, did uh, panic a little bit then. Thought we were going to lose that. But nice truck. Now this one for me personally, it's like when you first start the game and you're trying to find a decent truck, what you can just get on with and this was the one when I went to Russia, we had this truck and we didn't have any issues with it. You see all that suspension is working beautifully as we have got the active, but you see the active, you could probably do with a little tweak because it's, it's up quite high now and it, let's just does go up even higher which might be a bit excessive but uh, well at the end of the day as long as it's stable that's what it's all about and when you're that high off the ground you can go through some serious water with that water's never going to be an issue not when you're that high off the ground anyway so I, th I think we'll leave it with the active for the time being and see how we get on just to see how stable it is oh and we like to take those trees out now the trans star is not far away it's just down in the marsh so i thought well let's go down there 
we'll come down the easy way and then we'll drag it out the other side through all the the water and what have you because this is where this lift should uh, should help us whoa what was that I don't even know what that was that the trailer hitting on something then what is that what is that what have I got stuck on there I can't see anything there whatsoever that was a bit weird all right let's go and now are we getting stuck you're joking we start digging in right let's have a bit of low no that is something is restricting on the back there now is that down to the trailer then or something is going on I probably should have kept on the road really I keep cutting across there thinking it's the road and it's not so was that a glitch what's going on there oh it seems to be okay now it did catch on something back there but I'm not sure what that was anyhow so yeah look at it going through this water I don't think we're going to have any damage to the engine whatsoever because we're so high up and hopefully we should be able to just drag this straight the way over this way yeah without any issues whatsoever so this one doesn't feel as tweaked as the other ones but that's uh, pretty cool because like the way that's performing it's uh, flying through all this without any issues whatsoever but it was my go-to truck for a hell of a long time so there's the trans star Let's see if we can drag that onto the back yeah and I should have probably positioned this a little bit better away from that tree but we should be able to work through it hopefully with my expert driving skills it won't be an issue look at that we're nearly lined up cool as so let's drop the ramp and I think we will let's just winch with the trailer first because it's on the one side so if we winch on that one and you see we haven't got we have still got a lot of winch points but with the 50 meter one these two haven't got so many the only hardest thing is to find it there it is sometimes you're flicking through and you're like well where the bloody hell is it let's go on to that one and then we should be able to just drag that straight up with our super quick winch yes yeah, so he is dragging over that side now let's just use the crane i prefer to use the crane it's a lot easier that's if it's going to reach the crane it might not reach the crane um the trans star no it won't will it we'll have to winch it on a little bit further first so let's get that winch back on and let's just put it in the middle and get to get it as close as possible yep so that's there now so release that now can we use the crane yes the crane is there so we try and wind that in now whoa hang on a minute hang on a minute what is going on there let's release that down a bit I think it might be the yeah let's drive forward a little bit I think there's a problem with the with the ramps yeah put the handbrake on and now we'll try yeah it's catching isn't it all right let's try with the crane again we might have to lift that up slightly hang on wrong button come on there you go and then if we can lift that up no so is this this crane is going to give us issues isn't it bloody typical i i didn't try out this crane either but it's not having it but obviously having a problem with that one all right let's put the crane back which we want to restore what you're doing come on sort yourself out restore the crane 
and let's just go back to winching so we should be able to winch on there and then we can get where's the winch positions gone there they are coming right now see it'd probably be fine with 25 percent because that's half of what we've got to go at the moment and as long as you're getting towards the back of the truck it doesn't really matter does it now which side am i on i want winch on that side then and then hopefully now it's the these bloody trailer problem now isn't it if it's not one thing it's another it really is release the winch and we ain't i reckon it's because it's too low i reckon that's what it is because it's it's knackered so can we repair from here yes we can so oh hang on we won't do it with a spare wheel there we go now is that going to help well it will help because we can actually jump in the bloody thing and drive it up perhaps will it drive through here oh it's got no fuel right back in there oh it's all good fun in games isn't it there's always some problem or other so refuel we should have enough of the refueling ah it won't let us refuel it only let us target oh hang on you're using the wrong bloody button that's why right there it is now we can put some fuel into it so let's put some fuel into it and then hopefully we can just drive the bloody thing on the back we have power i don't know if it's going to move no it's not going to move is it because it's got nothing it is proper stuck in there isn't it yeah definitely not with highway tires and what have you as well so we might have to turn it back around the other way because i reckon the front end there is grinding out but let, let's just try the winch option which let's go on that winch over there that one and hopefully oh and the truck's starting to drive off yeah we didn't really want that happening but well i, I suppose at least we can get it out of the water it's going up a few trees though right let's see if this truck will move now <laughs> no. bloody hell it's not happening is it it really isn't happening today we try and do a simple thing and now we've got trees in the truck well we got that out of there thank god for that right let's get it up onto here then because if we can winch it up to here then it might help anyway so let's get the winch on the back come on winch position let's have it there it is let's drag it up hopefully there's not a tree in the way no there isn't hopefully and then and now can we, let's put the handbrake on can we just winch it up come on then it's coming it's trying to anyway all right back in the truck and yeah of course it's got no four-wheel drive it's got nothing is it i think it's just up too high there where well, that is not going to go up there is it try again with a winch is a bit not i'll tell you what might work if i turn the truck off first we're getting that one turn that off so that's off and then we can get back in the transtar and then hopefully we might be able to get it to winch up there but i think it's just a bit too tight of an angle and we want to winch on that one Come on, baby. Yeah, well, we got up there a little bit further. So let's release the winch. And yeah, it's coming straight back down again. So let's drag that side now onto that one. 
and we're just off on that that wheel there aren't we just on the ramp bugger it's not gonna have it is it so we can get lined up a little bit more because we have got a little bit of traction not a lot because the main thing is if we can get that one wheel on the ramp we should be good to go so much for just getting this hooked up and dragging it out it's not one of my favorite trucks this one anyway didn't really like it I've never used it that much I just hated the bloody thing and yet yeah, we're gonna be struggling with that right we're gonna have to turn this around because we're trying to go at too much of an angle there aren't we that's half the problem so let's just jump back in the truck. Preparation is the key. just digging into the grain wasn't it so we get there in the end unbelievable though isn't it really is bloody thing right so we can release the winch pack the trucks packed activate the ramp ramp and that's it we are loaded well it took us a lot longer than it should have done and we go for a little bit of power I think let's try with the, the low plus and yeah that's not too bad we can cope with that because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna there's no seriously deep water over this way anyway so let's put it into to auto and we'll haul it out where are we on the map for so we are probably off better off going down the road and just heading our way back right that way and we'll go yeah we'll go back right that way that seems to be easy enough he says yeah that'd be no problem we can fly around here look at this lift on it we ain't having any issues whatsoever with that oh I'm getting stuck Okay, alright, so I thought we wouldn't have any issues. <laughs> Famous last words. Right, where's the winch point now? There's one, come on. We want a tree. 
I'd rather be over that way. I want that post over there. That post will be brilliant. That's the one. We're miles away from that as well, so that will drive us all the way. No issues. Because we're not... Yeah, we are driving, I suppose. Let's go into a bit of low. Trouble, I'm always about the power all the time, and it's like, no, sometimes you need gently, gently approach to get there. But we don't need that winch anymore. Probably put it into auto. Yep. No problem. And we are away. Oh, we should be able, to, be able to fly this back to the yard. Hopefully no issues. Now we have got this deep bit of water down here actually where whenever you go through there it always tends to damage your vehicle. And I don't think we're going to get any damage today. Oh, excuse me. Wow, straight in the mud. Should have knocked it down. Come on. Should have put it into high, really. Keep forgetting to use high. Really do. Keep that momentum flowing. So, yeah, this is the deep bit here. But I don't think it's going to be deep for the as of. But we might need low. It, is, it seems a bit, a bit muddy in there. It doesn't want to grip as much. But it doesn't matter. Let's go a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's coming out. It's just going to come out nice and steady. Probably slow down a bit and we get a little bit more traction coming out. New problem. Straight through the mud without any issues back into auto but I can can I feel that weight on there that's uh, struggling a little bit it is but we're getting the job done drag it out down this way and then we can do a cut across look at all that mud that's the way. Take the trees out. I did get a little bit muddy over this side. Yes, <laughs> just like that. Never mind yet. I think you've uh, you were taking the piss of it there, really. But it doesn't matter. You've got a nice, strong winch, just like that one. We can drag ourselves out, hopefully. Yes, no problem. But that, that current is trying to take us. Where are we there? Yeah, we're meant to be heading over that bit over that way. So we can go around the long way. And I'll tell you what, the nights are drawing in already. What time is it? Yeah, let's put it back to six o'clock again. I can't wait to be able to control that time. We'll keep it at a time what you want. But it seems to perform pretty well with that lift on there. We can probably drop that down a bit now anyway. Let's just drop it down. And make sure we don't have any issues with it. Like that way. And we can go around this way. I've only started using this route, I didn't realise it existed. Well, it is a little bit of a muddy route, but it's good for testing vehicles really, rather than just driving straight the way down the road. We'll just go around this edge. And then back out on the main road, jobs are good on. I do like the look of that. It's a nice looking truck. It's a proper off-road beast now. Yep, 
There we go, we can get back on the power. Oh, I thought we were going to get on the power. No, we've got even more mud here. Right, just slow it down. Yeah, and we are sinking in there. We might be a bit too heavy. Give me a winch point. Come on. I want one over on the left-hand side. Yeah, I should, I'm going to try it with the 25 next time. That will probably be fine. Yeah, and there's a tree what holds us, which always helps. Cool. Let's drag that out. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some off-road tyres. Can we get it? XD actually said he's done a trailer pack. I keep meaning to look at the trailer pack to see what he's done to me. He's got so much to look at at the moment. It's, uh, it's crazy. Right, get into the auto. Because we're coming back on the hard. Back on the hard stuff. problem. I'm going to start powering at this hill now. No issues with that whatsoever. And I'll put it in high. Well, oh, nearly hit a tree at the same time. Oh, don't get caught here. Come on. Yes, you're driving like a idiot then. So lucky you didn't get stuck then. Should have done because I wasn't prepared for that. But power is up here with no issues. Love it. I haven't actually used this Azov for a, a long time. Oh, I'm just surprised how much difference it makes with the big meaty set of tyres on it. A little bit wider wheelbase improves the stability no end really does and all that suspension seems to be working a treat well watch yourself now yeah Yeah, we're going to go up on those rocks there, aren't we? Never mind. We have power. We can just drag it through. It's not an issue. Brilliant. Loving it. Righto, well, I'm going to get this back to the garage. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode with the Azar 64131 which is part of the max pack oh i tell you what i thought the game was going to crash them part of the max pack oh two points there what is going on here it might have been i put the resolution up a little bit higher player. perhaps perhaps that's what it doesn't like anyway this is part of the max pack which is coming for console mods and like i said we've got 27 vehicles so far so we've still got a few more to go through I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, why not go and check out the other ones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.